Don't expect to hear that Sandra's mother is cheating. Her husband died many years ago. She wouldn't remain like this all her life without having at least a supportive partner. Sandra is getting all torn up over the whole thing here. Maybe for the fact that she's beginning to fall for him or because her mother brought her sugar baby to her house. Sandra finally arrived to work after many days. Her lover boy was very happy to see him. As it stands, Kazim wouldn't mind going home again. He just wants to keep gazing at his crush all day long. Remember, Fola promised his friend Tokunbo for a dinner. Not only that, he also invited Sandra for reasons best known to him. Perhaps he wanted to hook them up as a good guy that he is, but Tokunbo was beginning to see this as a setup now. He was right when Kemi appeared. Kemi is Tokunbo's girlfriend, but he didn't let her know he was back from the States because of her crazy attitude and he needed space. She had already started acting up and demanded an explanation from Tokunbo. Fola acted so immature here, Sandra angrily stood up and walked away. This shouldn't have been the best way for him to get revenge, but come to think of it, why did Kemi accept Fola's dinner invitation if she had no intentions as well? Fola had to stop Sandra so they could talk, but he already messed things up. He even blamed her for his every action. Fola worsened the situation out of frustration again to have made a disparagement about her to the extent that he called her a dog who opens her leg for every man. This really hurt Sandra because she never knew she had been dating a callowness. Tokunbo wouldn't even want to spend a minute with Kemi. He came out to find poor Sandra, looking helpless. Was she really waiting for Tokunbo, who was with his girlfriend, even if they were having their own issues? Ladies just have better ways of shooting their shots. June can't hold on any longer. Everyone, including Jalzi, can go to hell regardless of what they would say about her next move. She wants to have the photo shoot with Femi. She needs the popularity more than anyone else could think of. Tokunbo, being that nice guy, brought Sandra home. They should give each other a chance now. I guess he is the kind of caring man she has always wished for. Sandra was so tired the previous night to undress herself, talk more of, to drag herself inside the bedroom. She woke up to strange sounds, only to find her mother with her baby boy still in her house. Her mother saw the young man who came to drop her off last night. At least she's relieved to find her daughter in the arms of a good-looking man. Sandra wouldn't be happy to find her mother's sugar boy staring at her one more minute in her house. Let's not forget Mr. Shigun. They both had on several occasions gone out together, but he has never made any sexual advances to Sandra. What then are his intentions? Sandra still isn't convinced about what he wanted from her. He called his secretary to ease the tension. His secretary attested to the fact that she was selling by the roadside when me... Shigun helped her without asking her for anything. Sandra was surprised when he told her that he is willing to support her in any business she can think of with one million naira, but as a loan. Jazzy was busy at the office when his colleague showed him the recent stunning pictures of his girlfriend. June still had those pictures, after all he pleaded with her. This is what happens when a man is always soft to his woman. He immediately put a call through to June to lambast her but it's no use crying over spilt milk. Tokunbo is still upset over the stunt Fola pulled the other night, but he tends to be diplomatic in his approach. Everything just seems to be fine with him. Fola knew he fucked up and it's okay to lose his girl, but into the hands of his friend is totally unacceptable. June confronted Femi on why he had to post the pictures publicly, but was the pictures for private views? Femi was even yet to post the big one. June was so naive to see what Femi wanted her nude pictures for. He had a business for her. He wanted her to buy some goods that he was about to ship in, and she would be able to sell them as an influencer. The goods were worth one million naira. Tokunbo wanted to have a date with perhaps his new girl. It's fine with Sandra, but she doesn't want it to be at the last venue she experienced with Fola. The weekend was fine with them. That night... Sandra was at home when she heard someone knocking. It was June. Sandra and June are very close friends. Sandra hasn't been online recently to see the pictures. She was dazzled when June told her that they were nude pictures. 
June's major concern is Jazzy. She has been avoiding his calls. She asked to spend some time in Sandra's house. That shouldn't be a problem. The same thing for Tokunbo. Kemi came knocking. She wanted to make amends with her man, but he blatantly shut the door at her. How mean can quiet guys be? The friends were having dinner when Sandra told June about the money Mr. Shigun promised to give her to start a new business. June was aware of her friend's escapade with him, but Sandra has no idea of what business she could begin. June seems to have a business idea. She told her to get the money first and she is sure to make her turnover in six months. The girls really missed themselves for more gists. They couldn't wait to continue the gist the following morning. Jazzy knew his girl would be here and he was right. He wanted to talk with her. He knows the deed has been done, but what's the way forward? June just knows how to get into her man. But she really felt bad with the way she has treated him, though. Jazzy's mother paid him a visit to his office. She's not happy with her son coupled with what has been going on on social media. She already had a decent lady befitting for her son from a moral background, but he is not interested. That shouldn't be a problem for his mother. They shall always meet in front. Sandra had already told Kazim she has a date over the weekend. She asked him to accompany her to the boutique to get a nice dress which the poor boy obliged. Sandra wanted to know why Kazim doesn't have a girlfriend. She doesn't mind getting one for him. They laughed at it while she went to try the new dresses on herself. This was when Kazim knew that he had been beating a dead horse. June called Femi to let him know that she has the money. But what seems funny is that she doesn't even know what business Femi has for her. Tonight seems so special to Sandra that she had to hire a makeup artist to help spice it up. She was about to leave the house when she saw Fola right in front waiting for her. Fola suspected foul play when Tokunbo left the office as earlier than expected, which was very unusual of him. This young man already had his plans on ruining Sandra's date. But will he succeed? Thanks for watching. Please comment your thoughts and also like and share this video for more super amazing videos that we are bringing to you. And if you're watching from our YouTube channel, you can also subscribe and turn on your notification for more. Thank you.